Just arrived at the airport and about to head off to Las Vegas first and then over to Ohio on our way to Las Vegas. All right, I made it through security. Now I'm gonna head somewhere in this airport to a bar. I really need a drink to start off this vacation. Let's go. Landed in Vegas. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going, but I know I'm going to the strip, I'm going to the casino, and I'm gonna play some blackjack. I've got about six hours until my next flight, so I'm gonna head over there and have some fun. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. It's almost dark, but I finally got the actual camera out so that I can get some good shots. Now we're gonna head over to Ground Transportation Baggage Claim, find a ride, and go to the strip. Let's do it. It's funny, the airport kind of looks like a casino a little bit. Okay, I figured out the Uber and I'm getting in MI Prius and I'm headed over to a casino right now. Another message, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like super unfamiliar with the place and then I decided to look around yeah. for a second and there it was. So I definitely didn't come to the most high-end casino, but I'm only coming here because it used to be called the Hooters Casino. And my friends and I came here for Memorial Day a few years ago and my buddy and I spent like 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. here uh, playing blackjack. So. While I'm here, I had to come back and do that just to run it back and show. Okay, enough talking. I finished over at Hooters, had a beer. Time to go over to the blackjack table. I'm hoping it's empty now, but we'll see. The $1 table's full. I think I'm just gonna play maybe a $10 table if they have it, maybe a five if they have. Five dollar tables and single dollar tables are done, so I'm gonna go over and play $10. How are going, guys? Oh my gosh, you guys would've been so proud. I was over here playing with a couple of new friends that were having so much fun, and honestly, this, was not me. I was not, oh, look, it's a, it's a push, not a pull. That's exactly in the mood that I'm in right now. I'm not thinking about anything. My brain was not working at all. I was just kind of going with the flow and listening to what they were saying, but somehow, luckily, I ended up 50 bucks, or actually 60 bucks up. I tipped her 10 bucks, and now I'm on my way. I've got about an hour until I need to Uber over to the airport again and I'm going to just walk the strip because I was up, didn't want to risk it and get back down to where I was even. Figure I'll take the 50 bucks and spend it at Lost Land. So let's go check out the strip. Might as well go into the M&M store. I haven't been here, I think, since I was like 10 years old, so let's check it out. Oh yeah, there's a third story. I totally forgot about this. Yo, I like your shoes, man. Like three things. That was sick, dude. Oh, like YouTube videos? Okay, that's what's up. Yeah. I'm trying to get into that, my dude. Bro. Do it. It's fun. I appreciate that, homie. Yeah, Looking dude. Into this. Good to meet you, man. Keep doing. Have a good one, dude. I love talking to random people. I, it's great. You know, just spreading the good vibes. It's awesome. Let's definitely do that at Lost Lands. I'm so excited. <laughs> So, there you go. They have four levels here to me. They all just like a bunch of different merchandise. They have a little menu, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Directory shows you what is on each level, but essentially just a bunch of different merchandise that's M&M related. Oh, and of course, you know, the candy. Gotta have some of that. Okay, we're leaving the M&M store and we're gonna head over on the strip. I'm hoping that I can go find a place that has that Tuesdays. I know there was one I've gotten before. And hopefully I run into it before I have to go. I've got about 40 minutes, but let's let's dash and make this happen. To be quite honest, carrying this giant backpack and all of this camera gear, I feel like a little bit of a target and like someone could try to come take something from me, but I 
been walking around for a, a while now and no one's no one's been trying to be sketchy or anything and I don't know it's nice so I was just talking to a guy on FaceTime I didn't have my my GoPro recording a buddy that I met on radiate check out radiate it's an awesome app I'll put it in the description below he's buying my extra VIP ticket this is gonna be a good point for Lost Lands in the future if you're gonna go to Lost Lands and you want to buy a ticket I don't know if I can recommend this but basically last minute people are gonna be selling them for a bunch less they did this year VIP tickets originally were about 600 bucks with all the fees. I'm selling mine for 350 because that's about the best I could get. Regular GA tickets, I think they were about 350 normally. They are probably going for about 250 or 200, depending on that. So, if you want to get a good deal, I hate saying this because I don't want you know more people getting screwed over with money-wise. But if you want a good deal, wait till last minute as long as you can you know handle that and then just buy a last minute ticket. It's probably gonna be worth it, at least for the next few years. If Lost Lands blows up and then, you know, becomes like Tomorrowland or, you know, I don't know, certain other festivals that get more expensive, then don't do it. But for now, it seems like you can buy a last minute ticket and save some money. Okay, onward and upward. I wanna go over to the Cosmopolitan. They have this really cool staircase with a big old chandelier. I just wanna see that because I haven't seen it in a while. So let's go. chandelier I'm talking about I've been here a lot before and just mostly walking by it and that's kind of really all it is there's a bar at the bottom but last time I was here I think I was again by myself or with my dad and, and went out and for some reason just came across it and I don't know anything about it that makes it special other than the fact that it's really cool and I suggest checking it out and I would probably get a drink down at the bar if I was with a group of people. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're about to hit 9 o'clock, which means that I'm three hours out from my flight. So I'm going to head over to the Uber pickup spot, catch a lift. <laughs> I'm going to catch a ride to the airport and hopefully be plenty early to catch my flight and not be late. And hopefully it's not delayed either. Sorry about that. Oh, how you doing, man? How are you? Doing good. Okay, back at the Vegas airport, heading in. Gonna have to go through security again, but that's okay. It was worth it. I had a fun time. Let's check it out. Let's board. Let's go. All right, flight number two. Getting on now from Vegas to Columbus. Let's go. <laughs> good flight, Ted. It's the camera. They're like, oh, God. Oh, yeah. Hey, good morning. I am tired. It is so early. I had to sleep on the plane and I didn't really get any sleep. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for my ride, I'm going to take a little bit of a nap. Had a good nap, swung by Walmart, and now at the glamping line to check in. The fact that this is all one person's shit, I'm kind of baffled, but I got to do it, I guess. All right, I just dropped my friends off at glamping. And I've got my wagon behind me. I've got a little bit of a trek ahead of me. This is where I'm starting and then I'm heading over here to meet up with my friend Kevin and it's this many miles. Okay, I got all set up finally and we're here. Here's the crew. Say Everybody hello. say hi. The most silent hello. Oh, you know, I, just, I guess I get kind of pictured the interview with music playing. It's like, hi! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to the marketplace now. Gonna check out whoever's playing and then go to the free party. We got our road beers and we're almost at the village now to see the campground stage. Don't know who's playing yet, but we'll yeah, jump in and find out. Just found out that there's a merch booth in the campground, so we're gonna go check that out right now. There's definitely some cool stuff here, but the selection is obviously much less than at the merch booth inside the festival. They're gonna have a lot more. We'll check that out in a second. Point! Lane! Point! Lane!
Okay, so this is the walk up to the festival entrance, and right down this way is where the actual gates are, and you go through there, and that's where the Excision merch, the Subsidia merch, and the Lost Lands merch all are. So you have to go through this way to enter the festival, so make sure you get here early because people are going to flood the merch booth, and it's going to get super packed. We just went through the Excision Merch booth. I got a jersey. I'll show it to you later. But we gotta go in and hit the free party.
done. So I'm just now editing this and I realized that I didn't record an outro while I was there, but John Summit back to back Subtronics was fantastic. Some more people came on after that and it was great. My back was actually killing me from standing up all day. I wasn't used to it. So I had to go back and rest. We definitely finished out the night first though, but uh, make sure to go down and like this video and the rest of the vlogs are going to be awesome. You don't want to miss those. Make sure to subscribe so that you get updated when those come out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.